if we use multi-directional modeling or, or structural models, we can begin to understand the interplay between different attributes. So for example, how successful are certain product feature combinations in combination? How do I prioritize the combination of things rather than, than one at a time? So I'm going to move on to a let's, so what we call structural models now. And these are a bit more complicated, but they basically um, they basically allow us to understand not only the relationship between predictors to our outcome um, on a one-to-one -one basis, but they also allow us to identify and quantify the relationship that exists between predictors. And there are two ways that we, we can do this. There are two approaches that are commonly used. The first is something called Bayes Net or Bayesian Network Analysis. This is a relatively new kind of approach, which basically uses the data in the same way as the other key drivers models that I've showed you um, to create a, a structure and to measure the strength of relationships. There's an kind of a, a, a kind of older approach, if you like, structural equation modeling or SEN, which is uh, does a similar thing, but it's basically built on sort of prior hypotheses about the structure that exists. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. There, we tend to use Bayes uh, Net more, I think, in commercial research, but you will see structural equation models used in uh, public policy research and maybe academic research where there are there's more need for sort of hypothesis validation and maybe uh, measurement of pre-existing sort of behavioral or academic frameworks. So let's have a look, uh, a bit more of a look at Bayes' net. So what you see here is there are two outputs. The first is sort of relative impact, so importance on the left-hand side of all of the attributes that we put into the model. And so that's what we get from a standard key drivers. Typically, we might we might show the, the 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 numbers a bit differently. So rather than having uh, impact scores that sum to one hundred percent, we tend to show them more in terms of the actual improvement we get on our outcome variable for a one point improvement on any of the attributes. But again, I mean, you can you can show them either way. But what's new is this network map. So what this is showing us is our outcome variable here is consideration for buying um, or renting movies or t uh, TV programs. So this is for a, a TV service provider. But what you'll see, the orange bubbles are the, the attributes. So you can see which ones feed directly into the outcome measure and which feed indirectly by driving other attributes. And you can see the sort of significant interrelationships between them. And I've, I've talked about impact scores. So we can see here, for example, how each of a number of features will increase, a one point uh, increase in each of the features will increase the outcome variable. And in terms of the applications of Bayes Nets, I think there are two, key, well, there are kind of three key ones, really. So the first is establishing this network. So what does the network look like? How are the interrelationships and how do attributes group together, which can be really helpful. And the second is the quantification of these relationships. So how strong are the relationships? Uh, and again, we can quantify them in actual figures, but we often show them uh, sort of uh, graphically. So, you know, the, 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 the solid yellow lines would indicate here really strong relationships and maybe the, the weakest relationships, but they still exist as shown in the, in the dashed orange lines. So this gives us both quantification and also structure, which is, again, really helpful in understanding the, the, the landscape of consumer opinion. We can also use Bayesian Nets for um, integrating multiple data sources. So creating sort of drivers, models, and, and, and networks, not just from using survey data, but maybe in this example, combining survey data with sales data, social media data, and maybe marketing spend and so on. So you get the whole kind of ecosphere of, of kind of consumer interaction there. <laughs> 